Hey! You're just always in here cooking now, ain't you? Always. Always. <laughs> I love it though. That's <laughs> rainy day. Yep. Good for chicken. It is. So today was originally planned for fence day. It was going to start um, the fencing situation that we had going on for our entire perimeter. Um, but 100% chance rain. Kind of hard to do all that work and pouring down rain. So that's postponed. We're like stuck in the house because uh, it is raining quite a bit, uh, which is kind of nice to have everyone spot it. Just relax yourself. Um, this is only like the second time it's rained since we've been here, which is kind of cool because I always call it the gray state and it hasn't really been great here. So kind of nice. Quick fence update. A lot of people ask what type of fencing I am getting. So I'm getting sheep goat woven wire. Uh, the reason I'm choosing the sheep goat style is because the hose are much smaller together. Um, and if you get like a cattle spacing square or cattle fencing, uh, those holes can be too big. And if you have goats that have horns, they can get their head in there and just wreak havoc on that woven wire and bend it, stretch it and all that good stuff. So you want something that's tight enough to where they can't slide their horns on in and then not be able to get them out. So sheep woven wire, two big gates, and it's gonna be every, like every two to three T posts, we're gonna have a wooden post. Uh, and then of course, really nice square uh, anchored corner post. Um, so it's gonna be really nice, really secure. Oh, and we're gonna run a lot of bob wire on the top. So all the good stuff to try to help keep things in and out, but just not happening today. So what you making, babe? So, like we've done this before on video. <laughs> well, it sounds like we make this all the time, but um, I'm just grilling up some chicken and we're gonna have some grilled chicken salad for a Grilled chicken. A lot of lettuce and kale that need to be can't go wrong with the grilled chicken salad, though. Okay. And we have some people here while lunch is happening. What's up, Stephanie? What's up, kiddos? What's up for dinner? Or lunch? This is lunch, isn't it? Ray Ray having some bologna, an apple, and you already ate your pickles, didn't you? Wise having a little peanut butter, Sammy, with some peppers. You already ate your pickle, too, didn't you? <laughs> So we have a lot of new people. Welcome. Welcome, we're so glad you're here. Uh, it's weird for us because I don't think we saw that happening. Uh, we've had a very yeah. strong following since the day we started. And they're basically our family, extended family. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all know who you are, you know, the people in the Stock Tribe, the people yeah. that are always supporting us and there for encouragement. Um, the new people have been awesome as a whole, but you know, there's always a few. Always. And that's never ever, ever something that we address because we don't give attention to tantrums. Because, it, yeah, and those tantrums are so minor, we don't want that to overshadow all of the good, because it's way more good. Yeah. And as parents of young children, um, you know, there are things as reinforcement, negative reinforcement, and you never give attention to those who are just crying and wanting to. Amen to that. <laughs> With that said, however, we do pray for those people. Uh, if you have an ugly heart, then we pray for you every day, and we hope that you um, eventually come out of that darkness because that's nowhere fun to be. Um, just don't drag others down with you. Absolutely. We're not people that get influenced by that at all. Right. Um, you know, people always say, how do you deal with like the negative comments or the hateful comments? We're like, oh, we don't care. No. Bye, um, Felicia. Yeah. Send them on their way. Because that's the biggest thing. Or our daily lives at all. If you all get to a point to where like our videos are driving you insane and yeah. you just cannot stand yourself and we anger you to no, no belief, Please go on to the channel. Yeah. Like, There's seriously, cool no idea. sweat off our back, no sweat off your back. There's all kinds of homesteading channels that I'm sure probably won't like you either. Right. So. And you don't have to make an exit announcement. No, it's no. Too much, y'all. Let's take that in like all realms, not just sure. YouTube. Like, it's not college. You just, yeah. just get that along by. You get an adult. That's right. Um, so, there were some comments about what the kids eat. Um, Listen, if you're here to judge what our children eat, then this is not the place for you because you're going to find a whole lot of other things to judge. Right. Our kids are healthy. They're happy. 
we oh. take our battles and we yeah. choose our battles. But if they eat their healthy food, then we move on. So yeah, if we provide the meals for them and they eat their healthy food, if they want to have a snack of a few Pringles, that is okay. It's not gonna kill them. It's not gonna kill your kids. It's not gonna kill them. Yeah. Just turn, turn your head and look somewhere else because you're gonna be bothered by a whole lot more from us if that, if that triggers you oh, in any way. <laughs> so if that's something you're into, then stick around. Yes. <laughs> we don't usually ruffle feathers, but here and there we get a little, little hair on our butt. Yeah. <laughs> One last thing, and we're gonna continue on to our day. Um, everyone wants to buy a video. Ours happened to be our very vague goat missing video that just decided to take off. So not what know. we aim for with that video. Right. Couple things, and I, it's not even about that video. We had to be vague for personal reasons. Like, if you're new and you don't understand that, so be it. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, we were not trying to clip hang anyone or click bait anyone. That's yeah. truly what happened. We just had to be vague. But I wanted to address the YouTube part because we've had a lot of questions like that people think we control a lot of this YouTube stuff. But we do not. <laughs> um, so if you're get, if you're new to us and you've seen like our top three videos, which are a little bit more on the drama side, the goat video. Um, our divorce conversation yeah. video, and then the ghost security yeah. infrared. Also pickled eggs. You know. Yeah, pickled eggs and zucchini bread are like rocking. So I'm hoping you came from that. <laughs> we don't recommend those to you. No. Like we're, we don't pay to have ads run. We don't do any of that. Videos hit an algorithm in YouTube, and whatever you're seeing on your recommended page is because of what you watch, not because of what we're sending in front of your face. So. Fortunately and unfortunately, um, drama videos get a lot of attention. Yeah. People like to see what the drama is about. Um, it's just it is what it is. So unfortunately, those are our top videos. Yeah. Um, I would much rather like my cattle panel greenhouse <laughs> video be the one that went viral, but it's not. Not our not our choice. Yeah. Not our option. It's what the masses watch. So sorry if that's the only ones that you've seen. I promise we're not dramafied. Everything in there was not YouTube clickbaity. That was true life stuff um, that we share with you all. And the reason we share those things is because someone, maybe not you that got angered by it, someone else may have went through that situation. And what we find in the comments is that's 100% accurate. So talking about fencing and what we're putting up helps someone else that's thinking about that. Talking about the cost helps someone that has a similar acre size that is thinking about putting up a fence. Do I do it myself or do I pay to do it? The cameras, you know, like that's a why I home. It helps when people know that our company and the brand that we use had the same situation because maybe they have it in their home. So that's why we share everything, all of our life, all of our information. It's because somebody somewhere caught that video and it's helped them and it's searched them. So, just wanted to address that. I really apologize if you've only seen the top three dramatics. We got a lot of good stuff. Go check them out. Okay, so as we were saying with the new people, welcome. We are so, so glad you're here. And we hope that you join this family that we started almost two years ago um, in January. And it's been awesome. We have grown so much extended family and it really means a lot to us. And, you know, we do share to help other people, but we also share because you all are invested in our lives and we love that. We love every bit of it. You know, there's never a day that we doubt what we do. We absolutely love it. Um, even with, you know, the weird comments or the weird people that come in. So um, hopefully some of you new people will stick around for the long haul and become part of our family too, because we're here for it. And speaking of our family, due to the sometimes wild YouTube comments that come in, we tend to stay away from that area so much. We read a lot of them. We just don't get to respond to a lot of them. So if you're new and you haven't joined our Stop Tribe page on Facebook, go down in the description, it's linked there. You do have to answer two questions because it's very important questions, um, but we'll let you write in and that's where you feel the family. Yes. That's where the true Stop Tribe is. Um, so we invite you to join. Yes, and it has grown um, and we're monitoring every day, trying yeah. to make sure that people stay the way it's supposed to be because that group is not for debate. It's not for arguing. It's not for controversy of any kind. No. It is only to connect with people that are just like you and like-minded and be able to get advice for building your homestead. Exactly. Yeah. Salad making time. Yeah. I have like really made myself nervous this last year lately. She's breaking everything. I'm breaking everything. Breaking everything. And we talked about this on our live briefly, but at our old home, we didn't really use like bowls and plates and <laughs> I don't know. It's just hard to explain. It's like caveman. We use our hands. Yes. And like it's so low cuts and stuff like that, which was obviously not good. And we're not proud of it. And it was a very brief time. And we have now moved on. We're becoming adults and we're using right. real 
dishes and silverware, which is really cool. We have a major task and goal of ours to really reduce stress. Yeah, and we like, have, we have a lot. Exactly, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, when I'm drinking out of cups, I have now broken two. And that just for no reason, they just fall out of my hands and I'm not used to like having to grip them. So I have now childproof myself and moved to plastic cups. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I cannot get it all, apparently. And you know what's so funny? She calls me the bull in the child. I know. And mm -hmm. even in my vows at our wedding, I promised to break less things. I know. I think I'm holding up my end of the deal. I don't know what's happening to I don't like it. <laughs> I just keep looking at her like, really? <laughs> My goodness. Oh, and I happen to say in the garage, like a man thing, I 100% did not mean that to be men or man or just men love garages. I know you ladies are awesome. You know us, you know that is never in my mind. So ladies, I know y'all probably better in that garage than I am too. Also, if you're in here, Zach stumbles on all of his words, so you'll find that out. Oh yeah, yeah. If you're uh, a grammar police, like, yeah. You go, you have to drop now. Um, it's a sauvage tart. That's my finger, not my finger. Um, and I got all kinds of other stuff. I'll get you. You'll get to see. You're really on this low and slow cook. Um, I mean, at this rate, this is going to be better. I'm tired of that. I don't know. Let's. Let's Oh. Huh? It's why is he breaking? Oh, Hey! <laughs> okay, so our visitors are gone. We had my brother and Zach's cousin Stephanie here for two days, which was really, really nice. Uh, it was a really good time with them. And before that, we had all the other visitors. So it's been a really busy, like, half of a week. But it was awesome. Um, we love it when people are here, and it was really, really nice. Um, so now they're gone, and it is Wednesday night, and we're just starting to calm down and kind of enjoy ourselves and the kids and just try to get back to routine and maybe start doing, you know, normal days again. And then my birthday's this weekend. I don't know if we'll see anybody, but I do know that we plan to take a little day trip to Gatlinburg, which is our favorite spot, so it's going to be really nice. Um, I'm going to go find Zach. I don't know what he's doing. What you doing? Well, our kids are <laughs> writing letters to Santa, and I just realized it. And I was reading it to see what it said. Well, that one's a cool mouse for his PC. <laughs> Whatever an FF plushie. It's a plushie toy. A plush toy. Like, you know, the squishy, like Ray Ray likes? Yeah. A Santa pillow and an upgraded knife and a cat. There you go. <laughs> yep. We'll not be getting a cat. <laughs> no. The others aren't too bad. <laughs> but you did. Nothing. I was going to put you on the spot and ask you if you miss our old house. If I miss our old house. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds harsh, but uh, no, I don't miss our house at all, to be honest with you. Um, the life we lived, in my opinion, was something that I wish more people went through mm -hmm. and experienced because the things that we appreciate in this house, I feel like are overlooked a lot. Yes. Um, so, okay. Yeah, so some of the similar things, like, a lot of you all commented on my excitement for a garage. Like, yeah, like I didn't have anything like that at all. And so like, I appreciate a graffitied rock garage more than anything right now because I love that place. Uh, we've talked about, well, obviously flushing toilets. I haven't had to clean the toilet. I haven't had to worry about it being on the floor. I haven't had to go dump it. Um, and doors, mm -hmm. like just doors. Doors are nice. Doors are nice. It's not about like closing <laughs> off, but it's like. They're one of those things you really just don't think about having. Yeah. I mean, it's just a normal thing, but right? if you don't have them, it really makes a lot of difference. It does. Like <laughs> when we go to take a shower in our previous place, you had a compost to which didn't really smell. It didn't smell at all, but, but it was there and there's no door. And we were like on plywood, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. 
Now we can shut the door and like have some privacy, take a moment to yourselves, take a shower, mm -hmm. come out and actually feel refreshed. And there's light. Mm -hmm. You know, our Let's old place didn't Let's have much yourself. light mm -hmm. at all. Um, this place has lights everywhere. Mm -hmm. Electric wheel. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just the simplest of things um, that I'm realizing that I appreciate way more than I think most people do. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because we lived a different life for five years and I really don't miss our old place when it comes to the place. Because one of the biggest things about where home is, is first off, love and family. Both of those are always with us no matter where we go. But the stuff that you all loved about our old place, we brought here. So like our lights, uh, what we're about to do with the garden, our animals, things, stuff, animals, people like that. Um, came with us, so I don't miss that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and our family's still close. Um, we've had family here literally like all week. Yeah. Um, and that's really exciting. So like, I haven't missed family yet because we still get to see family. Um, I hope more come down and know that they're always welcome. So all it is that's left behind was the pole barn. Yeah. But there's memories that will always keep them that bad. Right. Sorry, I got long winded. No, I don't <laughs> miss it. So we talked about all the new people being here. If you are new and you have just watched those top videos and haven't really dove into who the Sovers are, yeah. we lived in a pole barn for five years. Um, we eventually did get running water, but we lived without it for about two years, I think, maybe oh, three. Three, yeah. it was very yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, we never did have indoor plumbing as far as like toilet and stuff like that. Um, and our house was very makeshift. We did what we could. We moved there from North Carolina, which we had a beautiful home in North Carolina, but we wanted to be near family. So we sacrificed a lot. Um, I myself had always wanted to live that kind of life and I truly felt like I had to get it out of my system. I had to do it because I was dead set on it. And if I never did it, I would always regret not being in that situation. So we did. Awkward. She always got it Semi you know, but yeah. like uh, semi -awkward. Yeah. So we did it for five years. It was a wonderful time. We made a lot of memories. Our kids grew up, you know, to be five and seven. And then we decided that we had been through enough, honestly. I mean, it was hard. There was a lot of days that were really hard and I found myself looking back now, I can see how irritable I was all the time because as a wife and as a homemaker and a mother, I couldn't keep organization or cleanliness the way that I wanted to. Um, it was a goal, but it was never able to be done because of the situation. Um, so yeah, moving here and, you know, some of you guys haven't even seen that part of our lives. So we do encourage you to go back and see where we did come from. Um, but I don't, I don't miss it. Um, I have realized that when we moved from our North Carolina home to our pole barn for five years, I basically blocked that, I feel like. Um, I blocked that grief of leaving that home and leaving that town because I wanted that life. I wanted to be off grid. And so now that we've moved here, it's really odd that I don't miss our previous home, but it makes me reminiscent of North Carolina and how much we did and how much we grew as a family. And I'm just really excited to get back to that. And I, it sounds like ungrateful and spoiled and bad to say this, but that five years that we spent in that pole barn almost feels like a glimpse that just didn't really happen. Right. And it feels like it was a gap between who we were and who we actually are. Yeah. We made do with what we had. We made it work, but, and we had wonderful times with family, but it just, it wasn't us. Yeah. It feels like, and it feels like we're us again. I agree. So here's the thing with that. We've seen a lot of friends and we've had a lot of people reach out to us, especially because we did a house tour of our full barn yeah. um, a while back. I'm curious and to take them into that life. And so like, if you're watching this, you're probably like, should not. That's not what we're saying. Um, we did that when we were 23? No. 25. 26, I think. 20. No, I'm not talking about when we moved back and we lived. I'm talking about when we started the process. Oh, okay. yeah. That was 23. 20. <laughs> early 20s let's say that um so we as children not knowing a whole lot of anything um probably wasn't the best decision for us to take tackle that on at that time but i'm still glad we did it yeah that, well that's where i'm getting at yeah what i'm getting at is there's no right time 
um, to do something, right? Um, but what I'm getting at is we were like thrown in the fire to learn. Mm -hmm. And so when you're thrown in the fire to learn and you ain't got no money, um, you do things just to make it work. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm getting at is our house, our dream of what that could have been never made it mm -hmm. um, because it took so long because we wanted to do it debt free. We didn't want to take a loan out. We didn't want to do any of that. Um, we just pieced it together. So we pieced it uh, together enough to where it became livable. And then livable wasn't really livable. Mm -mm. It was uh, not for that long. Of what we were, yeah, it, if we continued to go on it, it would have been fine. But we, we got to a point where we're like, all right, this house has taken up every year of our life and it's like wearing us out. We want to move forward. Mm -hmm. So that's when we started like focusing on the outside and the garden and stuff. And we made that beautiful and awesome. And it was much better than the house. So if you're about to take this journey and you're thinking, I'm going to go do the off grid. I'm going to sell my home. I'm going to be debt free. We can do this. Yes, you can do it. But I'm telling you, be patient with yourselves. Do not set timelines. Do not set uh, budgets because all of that is going to cause anger mm -hmm. and frustration between you and your spouse. Um, it, it, we are full proof of that. Mm -hmm. You also think living off grid, you can do what you want and build it how you want. Not true. I don't care where you are. We were in a completely no restricted, whatever we want to do. You still have building codes. You mm -hmm. still have electrical codes. Even if you're doing solar, you still have to have electrical inspections for your inside wiring that the solar is connected to. Um, and I'm telling you what, right now, electrical inspectors do not like homeowners doing it. They like master electricians doing it. Um, so you're gonna have major hurdles, major expenses that are gonna come your way. That is not to downplay you, just to let you know, it is not just as simple as building whatever you want. Yeah. But we're happy here. We are. And if that is a desire of your heart, by all means, go for it, do it see how it feels, don't put all your eggs in one basket, and then have something else to fall onto right. if it doesn't work out. And I truly believe that almost everyone should do it. Mm -hmm. You almost should live that way because like we had just mentioned, it makes us value the smallest of small things here uh, more than I guarantee anyone that hasn't lived that lifestyle does. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is never allow yourself to hit a point with your spouse that it becomes a burden or an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, because you gotta remember the ultimate goal, you made this decision together and you're gonna see it through together. Yeah. So just never let it break you. Express your frustrations together, not at each other. Um, I, think the, I think if I had one piece of advice, that would be it right there. Mm -hmm. Express your frustrations together, yes. not at one another. I think that's how we got through it. Yeah, it's exactly right because it's so easy to be like, well, you said to mm -hmm. do this and I said to do that or I'm taking too long or you're spending too much money. That's just gonna ruin everything. So yeah. just try not to do, not try, don't do it. <laughs> okay, so here we are, I'm 31. She turns the big 31 this September, or this wow. Saturday, the 14th, sorry. Mm -hmm. Really messed that all up. <laughs> um, we're not well experienced by any means with our age, but we are experienced enough and I hope you took that somewhat to heart if you're thinking about the, you know, jumping on an off-grid adventure in any form or fashion. Yeah. Um, and even if you're not, enjoy what you have a little bit more than you did today. Right. Um, starting tomorrow, because there's a lot of people, like what we were, that don't have it. Yeah. And so, remember, you're blessed. It's nice to have doors, it's nice to have a garage, and it's nice to have electrical outlets that don't spark every once in a while. So we're just really glad that y'all, all of you all are on this journey with us even if you've been here from the beginning or if you're brand new and you're just starting out. Um, but we've got a long road to go. So, you know, if we're something you enjoy, stick with us. If it's not, we do not blame you. If you leave, that is 100% okay. We're not here to appeal to everyone. We're only here to appeal to the people that need to see us. That's exactly right. And y'all, I am dying to get in the garden. Um, I've been looking at stuff online to buy and like get going. So. There is going to be soon because we have quite the garden seed list that is already created. I think it's about time to start sharing that with you all because it is time to get those orders in. So stay tuned. And there might be some homemade bread in the making. Uh, yeah. So enjoy. Right. Subscribe, if you have, oh. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. We love you. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.